What's up you guys? Back with another video here with Marty at his home game. We're at a tiki bar with all of his friends. It's, it's Tyler's tiki room. Tyler's tiki room. <laughs> you guys like the home game vibes from LSU. We're here in undisclosed area in Los Angeles. <laughs> I almost said where we are. What's up Marcel? I'm here too with the boy. It's a one-two game, uncapped win for 500 and uh, the drinks are flowing and we're having a great time. So hopefully you can keep up with the action and uh, let's just get right into the hands. Let's go. There's lots of action. Lots of action. Billy, can you explain to me these two chips again, please? Sure. Uh, so this is a show chip. So after the Thank hands, you, you can sure. play it and you make your opponent show their hands just so you can see if they're bluffing or not. That makes sense. And then this one's a bomb pot chip. Um, if you use it, the next hand will be a bomb pot. And you can say if it's like Hold'em or Omaha and you can choose like a single board or double board. Thanks, dude. Yeah. First hand of the night, we look down at A6 offsuit. The $4 straddles on and I raise it up to $15. Marty and Ashley both find a call. We're going three ways to the flop here, which comes ace, ace, king. Bang, we flop three of a kind. Going to play it slow here, feel out the action, and give them a chance to catch up. It's likely I have the best hand, or I'm way behind if they have a hand like ace, 10, ace, jack. So when I check, the action gets checked through, and the five of spades peels off on the turn. Need to go for some value now. I bet out for $20. We can get value from any king and any heart draw. Marty puts in 20 bucks. Ashley gets out of the way, and that brings in the river, which comes a three of diamonds. Pretty inconsequential. Shouldn't really change too much. Need to go for some value, but I can't bet too big, and here's why. If I bet big, I'm only going to end up getting raised by better aces. If I bet small here, I can get called pretty much by any king, any pocket pair like queens, jack, or tens and maybe even some worse aces like ace four so i bet out for a quarter and uh, marty begrudgingly puts in the 25 dollars we turn over our cards he doesn't look too happy about it and mucks his cards we're one and oh on the session so far we end up getting a delicious hawaiian themed drink made by marty himself he gives us a tiki mug as well with a little umbrella in it it tastes delicious not sure if he's giving me good hospitality or if he's just trying to loosen me up to play some big pots speaking of which our buddy marsh or as the table refers to to him as worm from rounders scoops in a very large pot here let's see if he gets the invitation to come back for the next home game if you guys are on the east coast you're going to want to hear this i have a meetup game coming up on april 24th from 2 to 7 p.m with my buddy karan it's going to be at horseshoe baltimore so if you're within like three to five hours of there and you want to make the vlog come out there's going to be both of us filming and there's going to be high hands every 20 minutes for 300 dollars, which is pretty crazy look forward to seeing you guys out there let's go another side note we're playing two rounds of No Limit Hold'em and then one round of PLO for all the DGENs out there. That's what we look down at this one, the four card variety. I have Ace King suited, Jack 7, and we end up flopping top two on the top board and a top pair, top kicker on the bottom, so I lead out for $55. Marty puts in the 55 bucks and now the button goes all in for $124. Obviously, I'm not going anywhere, but I don't think a raise makes any sense. So I put in the call and Marty does as well. We're going heads up to the turn, which comes a four of diamonds and five of diamonds respectively. Not really going to be betting here when we get called by Marty. So I check it over to him and he checks behind, which gives us a boat on top and two pair on the bottom. Going to go for a little bit of thin value here. Going to bet out for 52 bucks and uh, he puts in the call. I got it. have a boat on the bottom. Oh yeah, the bottom. boat on the top. He announces that he has a boat on the bottom and I say I have a boat on the top. Hopefully that's good enough to chop it up. But I forgot what Ashley on the button has, but I think he ended up chopping the bottom board. Either way, we're going to chop up Marty's money and move on to the next hand here, which is still a PLO hand we look down at pocket deuces with queen nine of hearts early position raises it up to 55 dollars the player in middle position calls and uh, i put in the call as well looking to flop a deuce or maybe some flush or straight ideas which is exactly what we get king jack deuce bang we flop three of a kind we also have a heart out there we also have the gutter to the straight early position checks middle position checks it over to me and i have a set and i want to build the pot now so i bet out for 75 bucks early position calls and now middle position rips it all in for a hundred and sixty six dollars i think we can just get our stacks in now if early position has a hand like king jack which we don't block he's gonna put his money in so i rip it all in for 455 dollars you better oh have a God. set Wolf. 85 <laughs> you have 90 jacks. he gets out of the way so we're going off to a run out 
The turn gives us the straight, it comes a 10 of hearts. Additionally, we have the heart flush draw, but the river comes a terrible queen of spades. Now a lot of aces will have a speed. I wish we could have just ended on the turn there. I turn over my cards, letting him know I have the straight and he turns over ace 10 of diamonds. So we got there on the river. Pretty unfortunate to lose that $572 pot, but that's how PLO goes sometimes. Gotta live by the gamble, die by the gamble. Stuck 220 in the session, I look down at pocket tens. We're back to no limit hold'em. The $10 straddle is on and there's one call. I raise it up to $50. Marty's the only person that puts in the 50 bucks. We're going off to the flop, which comes ace, king, deuce with two clubs. When he checks it over to me, this is probably a good board to see bet on. But the drinks are flowing and Marty doesn't seem to fold any two cards. So I'm going to check behind here and see if we can improve on the turn, which doesn't happen. It comes a deuce of hearts, although we do now have two pair. He leads out for $50 now. And even though he could easily have an ace or a king, I'm not going to give him credit for it just yet. He's going to have to prove it. I put in the 50 bucks. When the river comes, the four of spades and he now bets out for $125. He's proving it. He's letting me know he has a good hand or he has like a busted flush draw that just didn't get there. So I'm not going to pay to play this time. I mock my card. Cards and uh, sure enough, he turns over four five for the bluff. He obviously knew I had like a king or pocket pair, and his pair of fours were not good, so he was trying to bet me off that hand, and it worked. So, uh, congrats, Marty, and don't spend all my money in one place. Oh, if you hit quad two, you have to say quad squad. Quad squad. <laughs> I'm down. And then mush him in the face. Then. Yeah, you have to say it for Cheers, the love brother. of quads. Cheers, Ashley. Cheers. Yums. Ooh, that was delicious. Before we get back into the hands, I wanted to tell you guys about the sponsor for this video, Bosley. Some of you guys run good on the felt, but in the hair department, you find yourself constantly in a cooler situation. That's why I partnered up with America's number one hair restoration experts to get you guys a free information kit and a $250 gift card towards a procedure. Whether you're just starting your hair loss journey or if you've been thinking about changing your life for a while, Bosley has a solution. The sooner you take action, the more options you'll have for keeping and restoring your hair. Bosley has both surgical and non-surgical solutions to help keep the hair you have and grow thicker, fuller hair where you need it the most. No more gambling with your hair. There's a reason millions of men and women have come to Bosley for the answers to their hair loss and hair restoration questions. People trust Bosley. They are truly the leader in hair restoration. I know I've personally seen their ads on TV numerous times before. Learn how to get your hair back. Act now. Click the link below and get your free Bosley info kit and $250 gift card. It's that simple. I end up topping up for $500 more. I want to be deep in case we make a big hand. Speaking of which, we look down at Ace Queen Offsuit and I raise it up to $20. Marty and Garrett both put in the call. We're going three ways to a flop, which comes favorable, as Andrew Nimi would say. Queen 6-4 with two hearts. We have top top. Garrett checks it over to me, and occasionally when I'm in between two opponents, I start with a check. That's what I do here, although I could be also going for a bet. I don't really blame you for going either way. When Marty bets out for $35 and Garrett now calls, we have to spring the trap and go for the check raise. I don't like my sizing here, but I just grab four green chips and toss them out there. That's 100 bucks. Probably should be going somewhere around 100 150. Marty puts in the call though. He could have two pair like 6-4. He could have a heart draw or a set like sixes or fours. Garrett says, hey guys, don't forget about me. He now three bets to $300. Definitely an interesting line. Why did he call the $35 and then now three bet to 300? Maybe he was trying to play it slow on the flop with a hand like sixes, fours, or six, four. I doubt he's playing queen six or queen four. So for that reason, I'm giving him a lot of credit here. Sure, we do have ace queen. Well, the way he's betting, we basically just have a bluff catcher. He's not going to be doing this with king, queen, queen, jack, or so you wouldn't think. So given the fact that I only have $100 invested in this pot and we're sitting pretty deep with him having me covered and I have 700 effective, I just decided to let go of top pair top kicker before you guys see the rest of this hand would you guys have folded this hand here in a home game or would you have just called or ripped it all in let me know down in the comments when marty gets out of the way garrett is pretty stoked to have taken down this pot and i can't let him muck his cards without using the show me chip so i toss it his way and i almost wish i didn't because he turns over a hand i did not expect to see queen 10 offsuit what are you doing, Garrett? I think he was going for the bluff, but he's stoked, and uh, congrats on making the vlog with that sick bluff there. Getting me to fold a better queen. We have to run out the board to see if I would have improved. Fortunately, he would not have improved, so we would have taken down that large pot there. Oh well, we're moving on to the next hand. We looked down at king 10 offsuit, 
and I try to build the pot once again and I raise it up to 20 bucks. Marty puts in the call, we're battling with him once again and the flop comes ace, ace, king with two spades. Good hand here, so I'm gonna bet out for value for 40 bucks. And Marty puts in the call, so we're still heads up to the turn. With 120 out there, the turn completes the flush draw, it comes a three of spades. I don't really think there's too much value to be gotten here with my pair of kings. There's a flush out there and I don't think he's gonna be calling with a hand like king eight, king seven. So I check it over to him. If he goes for a bet, we're gonna have to call him here, which is exactly what he does. He bets out for 50 bucks. So naturally I toss in two green chips. He's not gonna get this bluff through if he's bluffing. And we're off to the river, which comes the king of hearts, giving us a boat. Now all of his flushes are counterfeited and we're chopping against any kings, losing to any ace and uh, all pocket pairs are counterfeited as well. So I bet out really small here, a 10th of the pot for 25 bucks. Marty cannot find a call here. He mucks his cards and I decide to turn over the 10 of clubs, give him a little bit of a needle and uh, it works because he tosses me a show me chip. The curiosity got the best of Marty today and I turn over the other king, letting him know that I had the best hand. Let's go. Moving on to the next one here, we're back over to PLO and I look down at an interesting hand. Queen Jack 10-6, probably should just be mucking this preflop. But I call from the button for three bucks and early position now raises it up to $40. Marty puts in the call, so I do as well. I'm closing the action on the button. Maybe we can get lucky here and the flop comes queen high. Queen, eight, three, rainbow, I have top pair. When the action checks over to me, that's an interesting development. I'm gonna go for some value here and bet out for 50 bucks. Both players put in the call though, so we're going three ways to the turn, which gives us two pair, comes a jack of diamonds. Pretty nice turn card for us. We're now beating a lot of their two pairs that were slow playing the flop. When the action checks to me for a second time, I'm not going to be checking back. Let's go for some value here. I like the number of 69. Marty, of course, puts in the call. Did you expect him to fold? Early position gets out of the way and we're heads up to the river, which comes the seven of hearts. Doesn't really change too much if Marty had 910 in his hand. He already had us on the turn. The river did not change anything. So now he bets out for $300. Definitely a strange line. I have two pair, but in PLO, this is pretty much just a bluff catcher. He could have any set. Three eights maybe even our favorite hand sevens on the river that make a little bit of sense but then again let's think about it it's marty he's the one giving us the drinks he's taking every shot with us he didn't invite me to the game to not get a few bluffs through so i still have two pair here and i'm not too experienced at plo so i'm not in the moment i'm not thinking how weak my two pair could be so i end up pushing in the stack for 300 dollars. he says those magical words for us to hear you're good so I'm going to turn over my cards right away, showing the two pair. He looks at his cards one more time and mucks them. And we're going to take down that $1,100 pot. Thank you, Marty. Yeah, you win. Did that make the vlog? <laughs> I, I lose? Maybe. Okay, if I lose, I want to lose to be on the vlog. Yeah, you're on the vlog, Marty. Okay, okay. I want to be on the vlog. <laughs>next hand we look down at pocket tens and i bet out for 40 dollars. ten dollar straddle was on so that's why i raised it up to 40. ashley in the cutoff now three bets to a hundred dollars and i put in the call defending my pocket tens the board's not too great for us it comes ace queen five rainbow and i check it over to him it's gonna smash his preflop raising range so i'm pretty surprised when he decides to check behind here when the turn comes the ace of hearts i now decide to lead into him for 40 dollars. if he's checking back the flop it's unlikely he has too many aces maybe he has a queen but if i bet here on the turn and then fire on the river if I get called probably could get him off any king queen queen jack type of hand which would definitely be a huge win for us so I bet out for 40 bucks sure enough Ashley puts in the call though so it looks like we're gonna have to develop a plan on the river and the river comes the ace of diamonds definitely not a great card and now makes it less likely that we obviously have quads and he fills up with his queens I have a boat though so I check it over to him no point in us betting out here and then getting raised and having to fold Ashley now decides to bet out for hundred dollars which is so strong but even though it's pretty strong would he really be doing this with a queen yeah, probably. He's only really representing one of two hands. He has an ace in his hand or he has a queen in his hand. I have a boat, which is a pretty strong one at that. Maybe he had a flush draw on the turn. Like I said, I just want a big pot off of Marty. I'm happy to give it back to his buddy Ashley if I'm beat here, but I didn't come here to fold. Gotta provide some action in these games. And uh, the alcohol is definitely speaking for me. I put in the 100 bucks. I need to see what he has. And lucky for us, he turns over King Jack of Spades. Great call from us there on the river. We're gonna take down that $500 pot. Good try there, Ashley, but the bluff did not work. And uh, we are rewarded with $500 for a great 
call there on the river. We're up 550 on the session. We look down at King Jack of our own, this time the offsuit variety, and I raise it up to $20. Marty puts in the call, we're going heads up to the flop. When the flop comes ace five deuce rainbow, it's kind of a good board for our pre-flop raising range, but I decided to check it over to Marty. Don't expect him to fold any of his pocket pairs, and if he has an ace, he's just gonna call as well. So I check it over to him, and he decides to check behind, and good thing he does, we improve to a pair of kings on the turn. Gonna be a little bit trappy here and check it over to him for a second time. If he bets, obviously we're gonna snap call him and he fires out for 50 bucks. Sticking to the plan here, I toss in two green chips and that brings in the ace of clubs on the river now giving us two pair. I could check it over to him, but he's just gonna check behind with any of his pocket pairs. If I bet out here, it needs to be small. I need to get value from any other worse king or maybe a hand like sevens, eights, or nines. For that reason, I bet out for $25, just looking to milk him for one more green chip. Sure enough, he calls, I turn over the king, which I'm pretty confident is good at this point, and he shows a king as well, but then mucks his other card, so we're gonna take down yet another pot. Moving on to the next one, it's another PLO hand, and we look down at pocket tens with jack seven, and we have suited clubs, which is pretty good. This is a double board PLO bomb pot though, so we're straight to the flop, which comes king seven five, giving us one pair, and on the bottom board, it comes ace 10 six bang we flop a set of tens early position bets out for 80 bucks and middle position now calls actions on me and we have middle set and even though it's a set we got to be careful in these plo hands so i just decide to call here seeing if the board will pair on the turn on the top board comes a five of diamonds the bottom board comes a nine of hearts not exactly the best we wanted the bottom board to pair early position now fires out for 240 dollars middle position puts in the call for 200 he had a little less in his stack and i think about my options here for a minute even though we have a set which is definitely strong and no limit hold them in plo here we have have to be cautious. 7-8 now is the nuts on the bottom board. And on the top board, we basically have nothing. We just have a pair of sevens. So for that reason, I decide to let my middle set go. I think it was a good fold in the moment. Let's see how it ends up playing out though. The river comes the five of clubs followed by the six of hearts and they end up chopping up the pot. One player had quad fives on the top. All right, you guys doing the recap from the car into that game for 500, rebought for another 500 in cash out for 1646. What a crazy Crazy session with Marcelo at the moment in the car. Profit of 646, but we did a hundred dollar flip at the end three ways. Ended up losing that, even though we flopped trips. Uh, the guy turned a boat. What a great session. What a great tiki bar that Marty invited us to. All the friends were super cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Good luck in your next session. I hope you guys run on the felt. Until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Click my head below to subscribe and stay in the loop. See you next time.